Greetings, friends, and welcome back. Tonight's story, The Replacements, The Day They Took Over, Revised Edition, Part 1, written by Beatles Fanize, narrated by Beatles Fanize, with special guest stars, Duchess of Darkness and Ghost of 94. Hello, my name is Tim. Let me start out by saying that I'm just an ordinary guy. I have a basic life like everybody else. You know, going to the store, shopping, going to work and so on. The past week's events have prompted me to start writing things down. About a week ago, the morning started out just like any other morning got up at 5.30 a.m., started coffee, walked outside listening to the birds chirping, and proceeded to get ready for work. I got to work and started my deliveries for the day. When I arrived at the second customer, I noticed that, uh, that the parking lot was almost empty. And something else caught my attention. You know the everyday sounds that we get so used to that we automatically just block them out. Background traffic, birds, people's voices. Well, when I turned the truck off, I noticed or realized that there were no sounds. It was dead quiet. I stood there for a moment and then just brushed it off. I grabbed the customer's products and proceeded to go into the building. Again, that unsettling quiet. No TV playing. No weather reports. Nothing. Well, I set down the items where they belonged and walked up to the counter for a signature. The lady, um, let's call her June. She was... She was standing there, but she just had a terribly blank look in her eyes. No emotion at all. Hello, I'm here with your delivery. She just continued to stare blankly at me, and in a slow, broken voice replied, You want signature? Delivery. I was completely puzzled and, and stammered by her response. Like, like she was just learning how to talk and respond. Um, yes, please. She very slowly picked up a pen and scrawled something not even close to a name that could be read. Well, I thought to myself, okay, whatever. I gave her the copy and, and left, thinking that was fucking weird. Well, the rest of the day went normally. Well, sorta. I did notice that there was not as much traffic as usual on the main roads and highways. Kinda made me a little happy. No slow drivers to slow me down or get in my way all day. Well, I went back to the main store and clocked out and went home. Several days passed with similar happenings, as I already have described. Less traffic and people acting zoned out. One morning, when I got up and went outside, there were no sounds. Nothing. No birds. No off-in-the-distance traffic. Nothing. Now, I started to really, really... I started to really feel creeped out and, and uncomfortable. On my way into work, there was little to no traffic anywhere. I got to work and clocked in 
got in my truck and headed out to make my usual deliveries as the day before. Today, my first stop was an industrial complex. The lots should have been filled with cars and trucks, but there were only a few scattered about. What I did see were a few people outside of the building, just standing there, not moving. I thought to myself, what the hell is this? I arrived where I'm to make my deliveries and I go inside. And every worker is just standing there, not moving. They all very slowly turned to watch me come in and set down the items for their inventory. I went to the manager and asked for a signature and he had that same stiff, blank stare. Now I'm feeling really, really fucking freaked out. Sign my name? I was completely stunned and, and rather shocked at, at, at his reply. I dropped his copy and left. When I got back out into the truck, on the radio was an announcement in a flat, monotone delivery voice, however you want to say it. I, I'm just so freaked out right now. Curfew, curfew. To all citizens, please return to your homes. Please clear the streets. You have one hour to comply. Curfew, return to your homes. This kept repeating, so I turned off the radio and I returned to my workplace, parked the truck as normal, and went in to tell my boss what I had heard. Again, with that complete silence, no movement, no radio, nothing. I saw two of the warehouse workers and our HR lady just standing there, not moving. She turns to me, and in that same slow, blank voice, Go see manager now. Instructions to follow. I went to my boss's office and he was sitting behind his desk. Blank expression on his face. He raised his head slowly and said in that same goddamn flat voice. Go home done for the day, shift complete, return to your home. I, I really started getting chills up my back and my spine had turned to ice. I was wondering what the hell is going on. I got into my car and I drove home as fast as I could. When I sat down, I, I calmed down for a minute and I was like, yeah. I called my friend Jay, and he answered. Yeah, I got the same order to go back home for the day. The plant shut down, and our team leader came over and said we were closing down. Go home instructions to follow. What the hell is going on? I didn't have an answer, so I invited him over. Well, in a very short time, he came over to my house, and and he suggested that we go see his grandmother. She was always good for advice, and she was just a couple of blocks away. While walking over there, we both noticed again. No sounds, no birds, no people, lawnmowers, nothing, nothing at all moving. This, this was really getting goddamn creepy. When we got to her house, at first she mostly seemed to be normal and greeted my friend with a happy hug like grandmas always do. Hello, boys. Come in. Welcome. I have milk and cookies. Follow me to the kitchen. And so we went in and, and we told her about what we both had seen and... and and, and what we both had been told, and she said, I have not noticed anything strange like that. 
I'll be back in a minute, boys. And she excused herself and went through a door which looked like it went down to a basement. And after, I don't know, 30 minutes or so of her not returning, I told my friend I would, I'd be right back, I'd go look for her. So I went to the same, just, oh fuck. I need to calm down. I went to the same door and I started down the stairs and down and down. I, it just kept going. I can only guess, but it seemed like I was now 50 or 60 feet below ground level. When I got to the bottom, a short hallway straight ahead left. It led to several doors on the right and on the left of the hall. I opened, I opened the first on my right and, and found a room with a drape across the middle of the room. I slowly pulled it aside and, and there was on all sides of, of, on all of the walls were computer monitors and computers and they were all running and blinking and running what looked to be diagnostics. And, and in the center was a table with at first I thought was someone lying down and I stepped closer and, and was staring at, at, at what? My, my mind just could not comprehend what my eyes were seeing. It was something out of a goddamn sci-fi nightmare. I knew I had stopped breathing for a minute or so because I, I let out a sharp gush of wind and a, and a slight cry. There on the table was a human-shaped something and an incomplete robot or android. The face was not on where there should have been a face. It was just a computer circuit board with two round lenses that looked to be cameras where the eye should have been. The chest was open and revealing wires and circuit boards, computer parts, and there were even some blinking LED lights. I was completely frozen in shock and fright. What in the fucking hell am I looking at? Holy goddamn shit! I was finally able to regain some movement, and I turned around and... I ran up the stairs to find my friend Jay. He wasn't in the kitchen. I started running through the house and and found him on the couch. Dude, dude, we gotta go fuck, man. We gotta go now. Holy shit. <coughs> he just he just looked at me with that blank stare and said Your replacement is being prepared. No! Oh, fuck no! I ran out of, out of the house trying to think, what the hell? What the hell? I, I gotta get, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get back to my house. Weapons. I have guns. I can protect myself. I, I heard my goddamn cell phone ring in my pocket, but at that moment, I, I, I didn't give a shit. I, I didn't even realize that it's like, who would be calling me? But, but, but when I reached my home, there were at least 30 people. Robots, androids, all just standing there blocking my way. I was trapped. What the hell is happening? What do I do now? This had to be the end. Just think the next time you see your neighbor or friend, is he or she what they appear to be? 